Hey everybody, uh, William here. We're just going to do a quick edit on a photograph of a team that I took in the city a few weeks ago. Uh, just needs a little bit of work. It's just a basic Photoshop edit, so hopefully you'll learn something from it. So let's go. This is the photo we'll be looking at. And what the client doesn't like is this right here. These leaves over top of these two gentlemen. So, and if you want to know any more about this photo, um, how I took the shot, the lighting, um, and then how I edited it in post, because um, I did brighten up this image a lot. And there's some other things I did, like removing a lot from the um, like clutter from the desk here. Then also there was a TV on this wall, which I took out completely, uh, made it a white wall, and then put in their logo, and made it look like it's a... tried to make it look like it was one of those laser cut um, perspex signs. Um, and I think it looks really good. And then I did some other stuff like made sure this orange, because that's sort of their company color orange, I made sure that was really um, vibrant and on brand. And then I just polished up the faces a little bit and balanced the image a lot more. But yeah, so if you want to know anything about that, the, the um, shooting technique or, or the overall editing, um, just leave a comment below and I, I'll make another video. So first up, let's look at the problem area here. First of all, you're not going to be able to do a simple clone or heal. Um, it, it's just too messy underneath. And if you're new to Photoshop, one of the first things you've got to learn is that removing something from an image is actually more about putting something else over top. So. Here we've got the leaves. You can't just get rid of the leaves, right? You need to put a suit over the top. We're lucky in this image because this guy's suit actually, if we if we um, select that, copy it, put it over top here, it's going to work pretty well. But if it was just one guy, we could have used this suit. I'll show you. We could just make a selection, Control J, duplicate that, uh, transform, flip horizontal. And we could put this over here, but the problem you have if you do it that way, this is, it's it's obviously a mirror image of this, um, and it will it will look obviously fake. So let's just delete that. What we're going to do instead, it'll be a bit trickier. We're going to copy this guy's jacket. So let's grab that now, just the part we need. And if you want to know any of the hotkeys I'm using or anything like that, just leave a comment below. Happy to help you out. So this is going to be a bit trickier because it's a black. We're going to have to make it a blue jacket, but we can do that. Okay, we've lined that up pretty well. Let's just go 100%. Now, it's a bit tricky because this arm is different, but otherwise the shoulder looks perfect. That's, that's lining up pretty well. We're just going to have to do this, this forearm a little bit manually. So here's what we'll do, we'll grab the arm that we need and to finish off we'll just have to do a warp. Okay. Now we'll just, uh, when you create the mask you hold ALT, that makes a black mask and then we can get our brush, let's go 100%, give it a rather hard edge and, and brush this arm in. So I'm just checking here that we've got all the greens covered. Looks like we do. Okay, I just realized you can't see any of my tool palettes, so I'll just bring the layers palette across so you can see that one. That's all you really need to see. So here's the arm and the chest of the suit in line. The next thing I would do is adjust those blacks so we can get them blue. There's a few ways to do this, as there is for everything in Photoshop. First of all, let's put a, uh, a mask on that and then just brush in where we want to see. What I'm doing here is I, if we were looking at the whole thing, I wouldn't be able to see how close we were matching the colors. So this is what I like to do, just a couple of quick little strappy masks there. Um, and now I can edit this and then and see if it if it blends in well, then I know, then I, I know I've matched it well. Let's get a color first. Let's pick the blue from this jacket. Actually, let's grab this blue over here. Fill that, set that to color. So now we've, see, look, those are so close already. Now let's add a curves layer. And the curves will just brighten the midtones. That's, that is actually close enough, I reckon. Let's just check if this is, yeah, I, I reckon that's fine. That is fine. So, 
Now what we'll do is we'll uh, fill in the mask. So we've made the mask black, and now we'll just uh, brush in this suit where we need it. Okay, so that was all using the brush at 100%. Let's drop it down a bit so we can, because I need to blend it a little bit. And we'll soften the brush. So that's looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty good. I might add some more highlights in here. Maybe another curve layer. Contrasty. Something good. Now one little trick with curves. See how it's changing the color? Um, it's just the way it works. If you set this to luminosity only, see that? It's brightening up without changing the hue, which is fantastic. So let's invert that layer mask and then, then paint in the highlights where we need them. Just give a bit of shine here. Well, there should be, sorry, to match. That's looking good. So that's with that brightness on and off. Yeah, it looks much better. Uh. Alright, so let's clean up this mask a bit. Um, oh, and also down here. So it's actually looking really good. Let's check out what we've done. Turn that layer on and off. Look at that. Simples. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. We'll fix this up later. Um, so let's fix this mask. The way I would do that, yeah, unmask everything. Yeah, I should do this. Sample all layers on the magic wand. Let's see how this goes. Hold Alt to um, do an inverse brush to deselect areas. I thought it's pretty good. Right now, let's just do a refine edge quickly and put the background on black because it was giving us a white edge. So, we want us looking on against a white background, we're not going to be able to see that edge. So, on a black background, now you can see the see we've got some white edge problems. Let's see if the brush will fix that. Not really, but it's good enough. Let's try down here. Hey, 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 hey. No, bad, 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 bad. Let's undo that. Let's shift the edge in a bit. Yep. A bit more. Yep. Let's go with that. Re enable the mask. Now, we've got this area selected, but we actually want this part selected, so just invert brush. Let's go dark brush. And then Apple key H, hide the selection. Oh, let's go 100% opacity. And now you can, you know, just brush that back a lot easier. And that's pretty good, you know. No one's going to uh, scrutinize this that carefully, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get rid of that little highlight over here. So it's looking pretty good. I don't like this highlight, obviously. We don't need it. Let's mask that out together. Ooh. Uh, I've still got my selection, you just can't see it, so unhide it and then deselect. Gets me every time. We just need to add a bit of a line here for that arm. It's not looking real flash. I'm gonna mask out this. I'm gonna mask out this little bit. Straighten that up a bit. I might liquefy that all in a little bit more later as well. But just for now, I don't really like this either. Let's, there we go. Now it's dodgy as, but look, that works. That works fine. Yeah, let's flatten. Let's 
Something you might notice watching me work is I don't bother with all that non-destructive editing nonsense. Ultimately I realized that's just a waste of time. It's pretty good. The grain doesn't perfectly match, but nobody's gonna notice that. Oh, we still need to clean this up, that looks dodgy. Let's just grab this. So do a selection, duplicate. Duplicate, bring it across, transform, flip horizontal, line it up, great, give it a mask and brush it in. Now, because it's a bit too bright, let's make it a group, let's add a curves adjustment layer, darken it, out there is perfect. Looks pretty good, flatten. So I'm pretty much happy with, with all that. That looks, this suit looks done. Let's just go back and forth between the original. That's what we started with. That's where we're at now. I think that's looking good. I still like this solid line, so let's just go in and clean that out. All right, so for some reason, this doesn't look like it's lining up that well. So let's just liquefy. Now when you liquefy it, I always make a selection first. Um, because that way when you load the, let's go into liquify, it only loads this area, otherwise it'll load the entire image, um, and for whatever reason Photoshop really struggles with liquify. It must be very uh, memory intensive, so if you just do a selection it, it limits the processing involved. It's a little hot tip there. So that's looking better, actually that looks stupid. Let's bring it back a bit now. Great. Looks good. He's done, as far as I'm concerned. Let's just do this guy at the back. So, let's grab some jacket. Let's just do our mask strips again so we can match this up to the underlying layer. Do it all within a group. So let's get some curves. We should be able to do this in one curves layer, so darken it first. I think it needs more blacks. Now it's a bit purpley, so add some blue. Then we'll add some red. It's a bit too dark, I mean, it's a bit too light, actually. Let's darken it. I think that's about as close as we're going to get, actually. Let's get rid of that mask, and now let's just paint in what we want. Again, it's not perfect, but it's good enough that no one's going to notice. So what I'll do is I'll brush a bit over so we can see where the arm line is, and then we'll mask it back. Alright, so we just need to bring back this suit with a mask, so let's... I mean with a uh, quick selection, sorry. And delete that mask. Again, the selection's still there, you just can't see it because I hit it. Sneaky. And now I'll deselect it. And this isn't working. Let's manually brush that in with that edge. Whoop where that edge should be. Let's just see what we've done. Pretty happy with that. Just need to fix these up. So let's flatten, then let's get our clone stamp. And this is a little, what I'd call an unnecessary distraction. 
in here as well. Now I'm happy for the plants to look like they're behind these two guys. Um, but it looks silly coming out of here and then going behind them. So what we're going to do... Just get like, not quite a full clone and we'll give an edge to work with, or to stay within, sorry. Like that. Hide that. So I just want to extend this a bit. Let's do that. That looks good. Um, I'll clone these rocks along a bit as well. That looks good. Now it looks obviously repetitive, so we can um, let's just get rid of our selection. Now we can just change it up a bit. So it doesn't look so obviously photoshopped. Because um, if you zoom out, you can tell you've got similar rocks pattern there. So we've copied this over top. Uh, let's flip it horizontal. Yeah, something like that. And just mask it in a bit more realistically. See, that looks pretty natural. So that looks obviously photoshopped. Just adding that in really makes a big difference. Let's flatten that. Um, so, so now it looks like there's plants behind. Um, and it looks pretty natural. I might darken them a little bit more actually. So let's just put some curves in. Drop the highlights. Show you what we've done there. I darken these rocks a bit as well. In this spot, that's distracting. So now it's just these highlights are distracting. Let's soften those a little bit. Seriously working dodgy here, but no one's gonna notice. That looks fine, that looks fine. Just get rid of that. And I might even get rid of this background here. Great, done. All right, so I'll just um, switch between. So here's what we started with. Plants over top of these two guys that the client wasn't happy with. And here they are, removed. Could you tell it was photoshopped? If you didn't know, I don't think so. There you go. If you have any questions about any of that, uh, leave a comment below and um, I'll uh, reply or if I need to explain it with another video, I will do that. Um, catch you next time.